Welcome back. We find out what's currently buzzing at COP28 with Dua as she caught up with the senior advisor to the Climate Champions team, Built Environment, Elida Saleh. Elida Saleh, thank you very much for joining us on DXB today. Now, you're no stranger to the show. You've been a guest co-host before on the show, um, and I see a lot of titles under your name, but I will let you introduce yourself um, to, our, to our viewers and what you're doing here at COP. First of all, thank you for having me on the show. It's really a pleasure. My name is Alida Saleh, and I am the Head of Sustainability for JLL, for the Middle East and Africa regions. I'm also privileged to be the Senior Advisor for the Climate Champions team for the Built Environment, working very closely with Her Excellency Razan Al Mubarak. Amazing. So tell us, what are you doing here at COP28 and what's on the agenda for you? We're here to really bring about action. I think for us it's about profiling that there cannot be climate solutions without buildings being part of the solution. You know, 2.5 billion people are expected to be living in cities um, by 2050 and buildings are going to be around for many decades as we build them. So we need to really bring that as part of the climate solutions to make that really the heart of the decarbonization journey. So for our viewers, could you explain a little bit more about the decarboniz decarbonization journey and what that means for our viewers? Absolutely. In simple words, it's about taking action today to mitigate the impacts of your carbon footprint in the future. And if we fast forward to a world in 2050 in the UAE's net zero, what does this mean for people, for families? I think it's a family that needs to understand that less is more. Okay. Um, where your behaviors have a direct impact on the environment. Every choice you make to go and take a plastic water bottle has a has a 500 year impact. One water bottle has takes almost 500 years for a water bottle to decompose. And the implications of that is that every day, sorry, no, every week, everybody consumes almost a credit card worth of microplastics because of the leachate that happens in the water from microplastics of the decomposition the decomposition process. So we have to think about our health impacts too. So actions have a consequence on your health, has a consequence on your bottom line, has a consequences on your environment. So we really need to, each individual has to take action. So Alida, tell us, what are the most significant things happening here at COP and what are you personally looking forward to? I'm really looking forward to the Buildings Breakthrough. The Buildings Breakthrough is an initiative that's been undertaken by the High Level Champions in order to get 27 different countries coming together to help decarbonize the built environment. It's going to start looking at how we have the right types of regulations, the metrics that we need, a, a, a profile for what decarbonization actually looks like for the built environment. So that's one. The second that I'm really looking forward to is the UAE Blueprint launch. Um, Her Excellency Razan Al Mubarak has been very instrumental in, in um, accelerating ambition within the largest developers in the UAE region. And we are working together with them to see what does it take for them to launch their own decarbonization journey. And this is bringing some of the biggest developers talking with financial institutions about how do we mobilize capital? How do we ensure that the right legislations are in place? And what do they need in order to decarbonize? So those are moments that I'm really excited about. That's very, very interesting, and I feel like that would impact people across the UAE, Absolutely. definitely. Absolutely. Well, Alida, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you again. Great talks over there with Alida and Dua. Katie, I think you have something for us right now. Certainly do. It is time for the DXB in 60. Dima, we're so excited to have you on the show, but we want to get to know you a little bit better. 60 seconds. I'm going to ask you as many questions as possible. We want to get to know Dima a lot better. So let's get that 60 seconds on the clock and we'll start in three, two, one. One, if you weren't an urban design consultant, what kind of work would you be in? Journalist. Oh, makes sense. <laughs> what is the one thing that you cannot live without? Oh, my kids. Oh, <laughs> I'm sure you could, right? <laughs> what is your motto in life and in work? What, what's the question? What is your motto in life and work? Ah, uh, um, <laughs> like, yeah, I'll pass. Oh, we're going to pass, yeah, yeah. right? Okay, good. Um, do you have a hidden gem in Dubai? I think it's not as much as hidden, but it's not like I tell everyone to everyone to go to the beach. It's like that. It's a place for everyone and yeah. it's for everybody, and it's fantastic. Amazing. No, we love that. Um, if you could choose one superpower, what would it be? Focus. 
focus. focus yeah. Oh my goodness, I've never thought about that and I, yeah. I need it. Yeah. Um, do you have a book that you're currently reading that you'd recommend? I'm rereading actually Germs, Guns and Steel um, uh, and it's um, it's really, really nice. It reads like a novel but it's actually uh, like non-fiction so I love it. Yeah. Quick question, why Dubai? Last question, why um, Dubai? Why Dubai? Dubai is a place that things happen and happen fast and um, like if you want to have an impact you can like, do it here and it's really, uh, really wonderful. Yeah. That's the, that is a great answer. I'm glad yes. I got that in there. Past the clock, yeah. but we're absolutely fine. <laughs> like putting me on the spot there. <laughs> Not at all. That's what it's yeah. all about, yeah. you know. Yeah. Listen, can't thank you enough. Thanks thank so much you. indeed for being with us. Um, for me. I hope COP28 delivers. I hope you have a good COP28. All the best with the forthcoming events and the initiatives. And thank, thank you, you so much. Us. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Big You've thanks been great. to uh, our guest co host. Big thanks to all of our guests today. But stay with us after the break. Uh, Dua catching up with the Chief of Sustainability at Expo City Dubai to discuss urban planning, so don't go anywhere.